So, I just got mated uh, by this cat. It's very annoying. I'm trying to beat it, and I will make a video now where I play another game. I thought I recorded this one, but it's probably best you didn't see it. I thought I was out playing it, and then suddenly it mated me. So that's that's how it goes. I will have a new game, and I am white against the cat mittens. It's not nice to play against a cat. That is so strong tactically. So we're having a Sicilian, I'm white. I will try to lure it into, I noticed earlier that the King's Indians kind of position is not what it does best. So I'm hoping its understanding will be not as good in these kind of situations. Um, and uh, it keeps saying the same thing, ominously all chess players eventually crumble under my mighty pawns. I mean, meow, hey, hey. It's, it's, by the way, it's, it's a very annoying cat. Okay, let's see what it does here. It can play e5 or it can play knight here. Okay, um, so I will think I'll just do this. I'll play um, sort of safe chess with, the, with, with this kind of uh, king's Indian setup. I believe, what, see, that's a really, really weird move. It makes no sense, this move. No sense at all. Um, but it's probably uh, got some tactical justification. What about a3? That looks good. I'll play a3. Uh, taking away the, the g4 square. So it, it threatens here. Um, and I'll just keep it safe. Let's see what it does now. So my plan was to go d4. Anything wrong with that? No. d4. Threatening d5. And it'll probably play d5 itself. I'll play e5. And we'll go here, right? Yes. Very typical for for computers. They always play the active moves. Probably got some settings saying it has to play very actively. So I will protect this pawn and protect my king side. And we'll play f6. And I'll see what it will take back with here. So it takes back with the pawn. This kind of position should be slightly better for white, I believe. So let's see. If I play here, it will take it and it will move the knight. But it still should be somewhat better for me. The cat's structure is sort of flawed on, on the king side and it just goes g5 immediately. But is that really something to be worried about? I don't think so. Probably gonna go f4 at some point. I could take and play here and play f5. Uh, take d5. Mm, always difficult to decide what to do against this kind of um, opponent. I can also try and play knight here. That makes sense to go that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'll do that. That makes sense. Okay, and if I take on e4, what will it take back with? Very aggressive cat. We'll also play f. I'll take. We see. Now, this is very typical for a computer. It just does not care about something like uh, d5. Mm hmm. I got a d5, queen, h5. Does that work? I'll see. We'll see. The problem is you always get into a tactical fight with 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 the uh, with things like uh, like like this one. Could I play queen here? He will just move the knight. So what about if I go here? He will take here. I'll take back, and maybe f3. How does that look? Looks like it could be scary for him. Oops. Thing is, if I go here, he will just play. She will just play this move. Hmm. Not so easy. Uh, 
Okay, I'll try this move. And this move. So I'm hoping to exploit the weak uh, king side here. I'm like this never works against a computer. Unfortunately, can I take what happens if I maybe I should um, E1 maybe F3 bishop F7 is kind of annoying. H4, F4 is probably annoying. Take the bishop. Or bishop of seven back. Take. Yes, I should probably do some. Probably already worse here. Oh, just lost the pawn for no reason. H4, bishop f7. He, I'm gonna have to move my queen. Takes, he takes, it takes, someone takes. He's gotta take. So h4 is, is not a good idea. f3 is what I want to play, but unfortunately, bishop f7 is a huge problem. I could try and exchange a rook here. But we'll try. Uh, because my rook was not active anyway. Okay, and well, let's get rid of one of these things. Okay. So, I really need some sort of counterplay. F3 is still a problem. Not easy. Not easy at all. I'll go back. Mm, find a pawn here already, and he moves up. The only computer does that. Why does he do it? Getting rid of that check here. Before, maybe. Check. Need something. I need to do something to. Okay. But that's in such a bad position here. After something like this, the e4 pawn is 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 falling. I thought it was falling. Okay, but uh, options here, and and it's just trying to annoy me the cat. See, so let's be active. Probably e3. I go here, go h5, go h4. I need my king. So let's go. Does not want that. Mm. Or it does not want that. Happen. It's going here or here.
Oof. Who's that way? Why is he going that way? Go there. I would like my king up there, right? Going. Oh, no, that's my problem. Maybe here and try. This is not. This is possible to to hold, isn't it? After all, I just need. Just need opposite color bishops so my bishop up here and gains a knight he will not extinct tonight it will not extinct right so where's it going from here hmm. i'll go back and Yeah, thank you for that. I'm probably losing. It's lost. It's not easy. <clears throat> also, do you get mocked? Not by this cat. Yeah, it's losing. Damn. Not easy to play against the cat. Yeah, it's time to resign. Nice game. Um, by the cat. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was uh, GM Talks getting totally uh, outplayed by a cat. That's, by the way, is trash talking as well. Um, it's a new feature on chess.com. It is uh, very annoying, and I will, unless there's a lot of requests, not play this stupid cat again. Uh, thank you for watching.